Came through the halfway point of round one, was scheduled for 10. So Tucker's having a lot of success with that, that big left hand here in this opening round. And boxing's all about making adjustments, so we'll see if, in fact, George Armada can adjust to figure out why he's getting tagged with that particular shot and make the adjustment to it. Great hand on the top by Tucker. Tucker looks very relaxed, very loose in there, as he's using that, that right jab to set up his other shots. Oh! Nation by Tucker. Oh. He's just keeping that right hand, even a minute at bay. Hang to the final 20 seconds of the first round. This one's scheduled for 10. Oh! Body shot by Tucker. Nice one. A nice body shot there. Final second, first round, a good round for the champion, Martin T. Tucker. Hang on, George Armenta. Stay with us. Two, we are scheduled for 10. Champion Martin T. Tucker in the black trunks with the great trim, getting off to a good start in that first round. Yeah, he had the left, the, uh, the right jab going very well. He came behind it with the straight left hand, and uh, he did everything he probably wanted to do in that opening round. Uh, let's see how he does now in round two. Let's also see what Armento does now to adjust to that. Armenta trying to come in now, kind of close the distance. A right hand by Armenta. And good hard body shots as well now from El Gallo. A right hand landed by Armenta after Puck Tucker threw a combination close. Some shots inside. Then toward the halfway point of round two. And the work rate of Tucker is still a, a very high work rate for, for a guy. You know, when you look at the weight, when you go up in weight classes, sometimes you don't see guys throwing shots as, as frequently as we're seeing shots being thrown here. By Tucker, and now Almentis wants to pick up his output as well. So a lot of punches being thrown out by both these guys. On, Trying to try and land the left hand. There were a couple good shots inside. We post the final minute of the second round. Now it's starting with a chant of TNT. Oh! oh good right hand by Tucker. And he's been using that left hand as his power shot. He came up with a sneaky uh, right, right cross there off the jab. 
So Taka starting to use a couple of different shots in his arsenal now. Under 30 seconds to go in the second round. Oh, beautiful left hand by Tucker. That caught our men off balance. Oh, Menta was able to get off a couple good body shots in that last exchange. Hand by Menta. Second to Gray, way in round two. Good round and for both men. We'll get more on this USBO title fight in a moment. Round three was scheduled for 10. Left hand landing by. Mark Tucker to start things off. Come on, Mark. TNT, come on, baby. Our man is trying to get inside. That reach is really kind of getting them at this point for Mark Tucker. Yeah, he's having some difficulty with the size of, of, of Tucker and, and perhaps the height as well. He's, he's throwing shots where he thinks Tucker's gonna be and Tucker's not there. So that's again the type of thing where you have to try to make some adjustments. In the meantime, Tucker's letting his left hand go, he's letting the right hand go and scoring a lot of points. crowd here in attendance. There are a good number of Armenta supporters here tonight. Cheering on the challenger, George Armenta. Right hand by Armenta. They're starting to mix it up now. Right hand, body shot coming back from Armenta. That's the halfway point of the third round. So it's scheduled for 10. Oh, Meta is starting to work the body. Mexican flags are starting to wave here to Chip and Rita as well. Oh! oh sorry, right hand. I mean, the most that Mark Tuck has been tested chin wise, maybe in his young pro career. Clearly the best <laughs> shot of the night for George Armenta landed in this round. We saw left hand. And George Armetta is having a very good round here. Mark Tucker's gonna have to try to come back with something to try to stand the momentum and send it in the other direction. And to the foul, 20 seconds. Crowd starting to really go crazy here. At the Super Arena, Armetta with his body shot. It looks like he has finally found that distance. Cut it down inside that long jab of Mark TNT Tucker. We're back with a fourth round action heating up here. At the Chip Arena, stay with us.
work in uh, the Mark Swarna too. But in the Dredge work in Mark Swarna too. We start round four and action really starting to pick up. In and outside the ring here at the Shipping Arena. And George Armetta made a strong statement in the third round of this bout. And I, I commented earlier in the fight about the, the work rate, particularly of Tucker. He was throwing a lot of punches, very busy for guys this size. And uh, of course, you, 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 you're going to train for a fight like this and be in tip top condition. So you, 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 you want to be able to go 10 hard rounds. But the work rate has been very, very fast paced. When both guys are on, it's been a fast pace for both these guys. But this might come down to who can fight at this kind of a pace better throughout the whole fight. Tucker trying to get back to the jab. Come on, Mark, get it. Come on, Mark. Get your work done, Mark. Get your work done. Nice shot by Amenta. First minute, round four. And, and again, Tucker's gotten off to.